this growth engine daily I want to talk about effective task management and how that can help with efficiency um, motivate your staff improve your bottom line and we often get asked what's the best way to approach this and there's a great reference to Jim Rohn uh, credit to Jim Rohn there where he talks about spending major time on major things and minor time on minor things and you know that comes back to you know, the old-fashioned discipline you've got to be disciplined and you've got to have some form of system in place now over the years I've tried post-it notes diaries multiple tabs um, today I work in a CRM system um, you know with a task queue and I think that that's uh, a, you know a, a benefit of modern technology you know where you know, in, you know, you're clear about what your job role is, you're clear about what uh, needs to get done. And the first point that I would advise you to do is, as I said, you know, follow the Jim Rohn example of um, splitting tasks into major items and minor items. Now, the human brain can only process so much, so I would have never have any more than three major things on my task list at any one time. Um, and, you know, when I come into start the working day, uh, whatever time that is, uh, that's what I'm going to focus on. It's all too easy, and if we're all being honest, we've all had a task list before, and there's some real grisly, horrible things we've got to get done there. And then there's some really nice, quick, easy, insignificant things that we can get done. So what do we do? We get diverted, we get distracted, and we think, oh, I'll just do this easy task, and I'll just get that done, because it's easy, I can tick off my time. And by the, you know, by the time you've got a lunchtime, you've, you've ticked off three or four small tasks. How much progress have you made? How does that impact what your ultimate end goal is? You know, the reality is it probably doesn't. So, you know, start with your major tasks, get those done first, then sort of feed in any uh, minor tasks. But in reality, if you're building a management team and you've got assistants or you know teams that working or you know employees working under for you, um, you know, st try and delegate and train your team to take some of those minor tasks away. And, and that's not about um, you know that, that's not about hierarchy or ego. It's just saying you know can you really afford to be doing them them lower level tasks? So get organised. What are major? What are minor tasks? Then put it into a system. I say we use HubSpot. We have task queues in there, and we can set task queues up for major items, minor items, client items, personal items, internal items, and then you can start to work those, and you can start to track that time as well. Um, you could obviously it wouldn't be task or uh, pro, uh, sorry task or effective management if I didn't mention a project management system. Although personally, here's a bit of a uh, an outrageous uh, statement uh, if you want to call it that. I think project management systems are dead. Um, and I know there's a lot of businesses out there that are launching new project management systems or integrating them into their um, their own software or own systems. But I like to replace it with more productivity systems, and I think that's the key. A quick example: in our agency, we run on Teamwork for nearly four years, and Teamwork.com is an awesome product for project management. But it lacks resource management and direct integrated time tracking. Um, yes. The teamwork reps out there will say, hey, we can track time. Yeah, you can, but it's not a true integration. Um, and I can't allocate tasks to my team and break them down by the hours and the minutes. Um, so I like to class more of productivity systems. And in the early part of 2018, we moved over to ClickUp um, to run all our agency uh, and executive adventure uh, projects, um, which are more productivity based, which is resource management based. So I think get your major and minor sorted. Um, get the discipline in there. Um, you know, Jim Rohn says discipline is the bridge between idea and accomplishment. So if you're not disciplined, you can have the best time management book, the best post-it note, the best HubSpot task queues. If you're not disciplined to do it, it starts with you. So it's a bit of a wake-up call to get out there and get that done. Um, and then just set time aside. Uh, personally, for my LinkedIn work, 7.30 in the morning till 8 a.m. is when I do my LinkedIn work religiously. Uh, and I work through that and keep that going. Um, you know, I do my personal development on Sunday afternoon. So it's about blocking time. Out uh, from that side, and if you can automate these with tools like HubSpot, tools like ClickUp, 
um, then you're going to be a lot further forward. So I'd love to get your thoughts on it. Um, how are you dealing with effective task management? How are you becoming more proficient, efficient? How are you motivating your team? How are you increasing your bottom line? Leave us a comment below. And as always, thanks for continuing your growth engine journey. Go do the hustle, go make it happen, and we'll catch up with you on another Growth Engine Daily.